What's up guys, today I'm gonna be dropping into 4 more important steps to get best FPS and best performance in GTA 5 No matter how low end PC you have, I've got you all covered So without wasting up any more time, let's drop in Alright, so first thing that you have to do is creating a restore point and that is really simple Just search for create a restore point on your device And in here, search for local disk C, click on create and name it GTA 5 and once it's done, simply click on close. Now this is most important step because if anything goes wrong in your PC, you can always restore it back to the system image file that you have created from system properties. Now simply close it and let's move out with the first step. So first things first, you have to open up your Steam. Go into your library, search for GTA 5 and then simply right click and then go to manage and then go to browse local files. Now once you are in the directory of GTA 5, simply copy the whole location Minimize it. Now search for graphic settings. Now once you are in here, simply click on browse. Paste the browse location over here and then simply select gda5.exe, hit add. Now I've already added it over here. So once it's added, simply go to options and then select high performance and it's safe. Now again, you have to close this, search for game mode once again and then make sure that game mode is enabled. Now this will optimize your PC whenever you're running your games. Once it's done, simply close it and then move ahead with the second step. Next most important step is the power plan. And for that, simply go and search for power options. And then once you are here, it will say it's automatically set to balanced, but again, you have to change it to ultimate performance or high performance if you have any of this. Simply click on minimize and then you are really good to go. Our fourth step is downloading GTA 5 FPS pack. Now again, the links will be down in the description below. Simply download it from there and open it up. In here, you'll find in five files over here, just like this. First one is a high-end PC, second one is medium-end PC, third one is low-end PC, and fourth one is potato-end PC. But first, we'll start up with the launch option. So open the text file up, simply copy the whole string over here, then again, go back to Steam, go to properties, and then in the launch option, simply place the whole string text over here, and then close the properties. Now again, minimize GTA 5. If you have a high-end PC, that means you have any graphics card equivalent to RTX series and at least a minimum of 16 gigabytes memory. If you have a medium-end PC, that means you have a GTX equivalent graphic card with at least 8 GB memory. And again, for low-end PC, the criteria is you have a GD graphics card with at least 4 gigabytes of memory. And again, potato and PC, that means no graphics card with 1 or 2 GB memory. So once you know what kind of PC you're using, for me it's gonna be high-end PC but again I'm gonna be showing you guys with the potato end or low-end PC. Simply copy the whole XML file over here and then you have to go into your documents and then Rockstar Games then GTA 5 and again you have a settings.xml over here. Simply make a new folder over here and name it backup now simply send the xml file in the backup folder so in case you have to restore it back you can create it and now paste the new settings xml file in here and then minimize it and that is the second step now again you have to go into gta 5 do not change any settings because the settings will be automatically set if that sorts your issues then you are done over here but the next step is for the people who play GTA online and they suffer with lags and you know continuous disconnection it's very very frustrating if you are exited from the queue in GTA 5 you are thrown back into GTA again so for that I highly recommend you guys to use exit lag now again exit lag has a list of over 250 games to choose from Again, again GTA 5 is a part of it you can simply go to the website and then select free 3 days trial and download the latest version of exit lag from there once you open up exit lag it should look like this now on the left side on the screen you can just search for gta 5 and then add it for the region scroll down and again for me it's asia mumbai 01 and then you'll see the estimated ping which i'm gonna be getting in here but again for regions if it doesn't work you can always come back and change the region simply click on apply routes and then go to tool section again make sure to enable all of these options and then enable all of these options except the high qos priority then go to fps boost section and then enable three of these options and this one as well 
Now simply minimize. Alright, so exit lag is free to use for 3 days but after that you have to get a subscription. Just like any other app, exit lag offers you monthly, semi-annually and quarterly subscription. And you guys can pay it via credit card, paypal and other payments method as well. But if these prices are too high for you, then you can use code bearfox20 to save instant 20% on your first purchase. So make sure to choose your plan wisely. Now once you're done with all of those, simply open up your GTA 5 and now you guys will notice your GTA will open up in the small screen just like this. I again suggest if you have a very low end PC, leave it as it is. Simply go over to the settings section in here and then go to graphics. And then you guys can see the video memory which I'm using right now is minus 190 MB and this is most suitable for any low end PC you guys can easily run this game on above 30 to 45 FPS and maybe even 60 if you have great cooling system. I hope you guys might have enjoyed it and if you did make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button. Also I'm making a new video on Intel HD graphics optimization so that you can play all of these games without any graphics card so make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more videos like this. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox, and peace out.